Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we're going to be talking about making the most of Mate. And uh, this is, uh, some of you guys asked for some more of these types of videos looking at individual um, desktop environments uh, with more information uh, after I did my cinnamon one. And uh, so we're going to continue in on that. We're talking about Mate. It's pronounced either Mate, mate or Mate depending on, you know, tomato, tomato, same principle. It's just not pronounced mate. Um, it is, uh, I believe it's an Australian word, like an Australian bird, I think. I don't know. Um, but uh, this is a desktop environment that uh, mostly resembles a Windows-type layout. It's one of the more popular ones. It's not one of my favorites, but um, uh, there's, it's just, to me, it's just kind of in that neutral ground, but it is a great desktop, particularly if you want a lot of customizability and flexibility in a very simple and easy to understand manner. And also it does take fewer system resources than some of the other modern desktop environments that are out. So uh, without uh, any further discussion, we're just going to jump right on into the distribution. Now, I decided to use Ubuntu Mate for this one, simply because this is probably the most popular version of Mate. So I installed this onto the drive, but I did not do anything else to it. And we're going to be talking about uh, basically settings, layouts, and how to get everything working. So one of the things now, this is Ubuntu 18.04 Mate version. Uh, if you had an older version, you had a slightly different menu up here at the top. Um, now in this one, because your Ubuntu distros generally put a panel on the top with all the layout, kind of like a Mac type system. Um, but they also though have a panel on the bottom, which will have all of your task layouts like you might be used to. So this is something that is going to be similar to a Windows environment, slightly different. Um, of course, you can change your desktop uh, settings over here with your workspaces. And then we have a trash can on the bottom of the icon. Now I do use Mate on one of my uh, systems, my backup computer, which is my computer and my encrypted computer with all my backup personal files on it. Um, I actually use something that's similar to this. I do set it up a little bit more like a Windows, but I do have a top and a bottom panel, but my top and bottom panel will actually, my top panel will slide in and out. So it's a kind of a neat setup. And so let's go ahead and just jump on in. So the first, of course, is we can right click. We can work right off the desktop. This is one of the desktops that has not messed around with any of your um, desktop icons or things. So those will work out of the box on pretty much any type of Mate that you are using. You want to change your desktop background, you can go ahead and come to here. Of course, various distros are going to have, you know, differing degrees of desktops, uh, wallpapers and such to choose from. So you can just kind of hunt through for these. Uh, let's go with this one's a little bit more neutral than the green, a little bit easier, I think, to look at. Uh, we do have some other ones like this that's also a nice and gray one um, if we want to uh, do that. I think I'm actually, let me see what this one looks like too. That one's pretty neat. I like that. That's cool. All right, let's though go with the more neutral gray one uh, just to kind of help us out. So that's kind of right clicking in on the desktop. Now, um, with regarding these different panels, um, what you want to do is come on in and there is a control center. Now your control center will have all of your different layouts that you can actually get them individually inside of preferences. Uh, but your control center actually has everything laid out out of the box. So inside of this control center here, this is where we can select our different groups, uh, which simply is just like a, a web page hot list, effectively. It'll kind of identify where we're at. Um, but we have various administrative tools. Uh, of course, uh, mostly our hardware-y type things, network connections, printers. Software Boutique is the um, Mate software manager. Um, so some distros will have their own software manager. Um, some of them, some of the desktop environments have their own software manager. Um, this one is the one for Ubuntu Mate. I'm not sure if this is in every one. Um, I just forgot to look into that. Uh, but Software Boutique is what is in Ubuntu Mate. Uh, we do have the software and updates. This is actually an Ubuntu tool. Uh, which has your ability to uh, do your extra drivers, other software, things like that. So that's something that's going to be uh, something that you will find in any Ubuntu-based distribution. Uh, your printers, network, things like that should show up uh, pretty much most places. As far as our hardware, additional drivers does show up from um, inside of Ubuntu. Other things will appear, displays, you should find that, sound, you should find that in any distro. 
And then down here under the look and feel, these are the types of things that you're going to have in each of your different um, builds of Mate, although there may be some slight differences. So appearance will allow you to pick your different uh, layouts. So you have a variety of different layouts uh, out of the box. You can actually download themes and customize some. I think this I think this one might be one of the ones I'm, I, I either am using or was using on one of my uh, one of my computers before. Uh, but you can see there's a lot of different things, anything from you know an older Windows type look um, to you know several different more modern views as well. So you can kind of pick the the type of layout that you want. You can actually click the customize option and you can customize different aspects from the various controls, the window borders, the icons and the pointers. Kind of gives you a little bit more granular control over your individual theme. We've of course already seen the backup um, the backup window so you can get to that. Uh, you can get to any of these four with right clicking the desktop. Here's our fonts and then our interface. Um, are we going to show our icons and menus or not? All right, so that's kind of these menus over here. So if I were to do this, you'll see that these icons will go away. All right, so now they're back. Those are pretty nice. I generally like to use those. Just uh, makes it look a little bit nicer. Now, um, under the main menu, uh, this is actually a menu editor. Now, Mate has um, a little bit more um, easier to find flexibility versus my favorite uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon because you can get to things like the, uh, the menu editor from right inside the control center, whereas you technically can on Cinnamon, but it's a little bit more complicated. You gotta dig into the applets and go into the settings from there and you may not always know where that happens to be. On this, there's one single thing which gets to this menu editor, which does function the same way as the one does in, uh, in Linux Mint, uh, or excuse me, in, in Cinnamon. So this is of course where you can go in and you can select which, uh, what's gonna show up. So if, if you never need, for example, um, uh, let's just say you never need plank okay i'm not a big big fan of of plank so i don't really need it to show up you can just deselect it in the menu and then you know if you come on into under accessories plank will no longer be here let me go ahead and show you another one um so we just took the font system out uh so under accessories where are you mr accessories so now you'll see that the font is removed and then of course you can click it and it will be restored well, in theory. I think I've killed my system. There it is. Uh-oh. We have an error. We have an error. Uh, yes, let's go ahead. <laughs> okay. So uh, there was like, it should have showed up because I was having some issues for, for that. All right, there we are. Now the font viewer is back. Uh, you can create a new item uh, inside of your menu. So here you can put in a type of application, an application terminal or a location. You can browse for a command. Um, so if you need to know where applications generally are installed, it's going to be inside of your, let's see if I can remember where it is. It should be under user, I hit that. It should be under user shared applications. This is where you're going to find your various applications at. All right, so you can then um, put in a custom icon as well. This actually automatically loads to our icon folder so you can kind of back up to see various icons here. So you can create your own launcher in there as well. You can also take a launcher and uh, you should be able to copy one. Eh, maybe they don't have that functionality in here. Um, I know in the cinnamon one you can actually copy and paste them. I don't see that functionality here. Uh, so that's how you can make adjustments to your main menu. Now your tweak tool, uh, this is nice because this is where you can, if you don't want to use your desktop icons at all, um, this will actually disable your uh, right click on your menu altogether, on your desktop altogether rather. And then here you can determine what you would like to show up on your desktop or not. So our panel. Now this is where uh, you will have some slight difference. Now anywhere where you have these um, Anywhere where you have a um, your tweak tool on Mate, there, your distros are going to have different things inside of here. So these are basically themes for your panel layouts. So if I go with this one here, 
the traditional. This is the typical layout for the panel. I do find that the first time I make a change, it doesn't seem to want to load everything right. Let me go ahead and go back to that. Um, this is why I actually don't use Mate. It's just giving me all sorts of weird little things. I get this pretty much any time I use Mate. That's why I don't like it very much. All right, going back to the traditional again. Hopefully it loads this time. That should give us a panel on the top, a panel on the bottom, and then we'll have some more. Um, uh, we'll have some more options for the top and the bottom. I'm trying to show you what that one looks like. This is what the traditional panel. There it is. Now it's working. Um, so this is actually, if you've used Ubuntu Mate in the past or uh, Linux Mint Mate, you'd get this as kind of your default, where you have your place down here. You have your system layout. This is actually how I have my panel set up, which is actually very nice. I, I do like this. Uh, I do like this uh, this setup. Now, I also though I don't like this menu as much. So I've actually on mine personally, I've taken this menu off, and then I've come down to this panel here, and you can actually add a basic um, a basic application launcher, a basic menu here. So um, uh, I think I'm using the advanced menu. I think is what I'm doing. Yeah, so I use the advanced menu. And um, I think we can come over here. We can. Just gotta remember how to edit our panel. There we are. Move it. Go ahead and move that guy. We're going to right click unlock this guy. So Just right click and move and then this space, there's a little space right there I don't want. There we are. So now we have a man menu over here and we're going to right click and relock it to the panel. That way you don't accidentally move it. So this is the type of setup that I have and then of course I've removed this one from my panel. Um, or maybe I didn't, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me go ahead and add that. No, that's not the one I wanted. All right, now of course, if we make any changes, we can actually reset the reset the system. So Redmond uh, is one that's more set up just like kind of a Windows type system. We have the advanced menu, we have our control center, and then We go back to traditional. I don't think it saves our settings. Yeah, it doesn't save our settings. So we can go back to that. So there's a variety of different uh, different settings that, up here that that you can do inside of your panel. All right. So we have the ability to uh, set our controls in there, and then of course we have our windows. Now one of the things that Mate makes easy is to change your windows manager. So if you like wobbly windows or, or weird little trendy effects, you can actually come down here and, and uh, use Compiz. Now on Ubuntu, it does not have the Compiz manager pre-installed, so you will have to um, install this. Um, I did check Solace Mate. The only reason I'm not doing this video on Solace Mate instead is because it's quite a bit different from most of the other Mate's. Um, but you can pick whichever uh, whichever type of system you want to use uh, for your window manager. And then from there, you can actually go into your windows and any adjustments that you can make within the setting that you have, you can go ahead and make those changes. We do have screensavers still. So if you do like screensavers, this might be the desktop for you. Uh, we just have a variety of different things. I think you can probably download and find some more of these. And then, of course, your startup applications just determines what is loading up on the startup. You can see there's actually quite a bit of things loading up here on the startup. So you can go through here and determine some of these are things like, you know, uh, network manager. You know, you generally want most of the things up here. Things like the screen reader, I would never use that. So I would take anything out of this that you never would use. So the welcome screen, if I need that, I know where it is. Um, it just will take a few extra resources if it loads, even if you've clicked the box to not have it show up. Other things I do want to keep on, so um, that's our systems there. Here's our preferred applications. There's no mail reader on here because I went with the minimal install. Um, so you can go through here and determine what is the default for each type of system. So that is the control center inside of our uh, inside of our platform. 
Now, the other things is our panels. We do have properties. Um, we just kind of looked at these very briefly. Uh, we can auto hide the panels. Um, we can show the hide buttons. These are actually the ones that, that I use on mine personally. So mine is set up like this. So I use my launchers up top, but then you just kind of move this out of the way and then the panel on the top is gone and I just pull it up if I happen to need it. In my case, I use it for just some basic system information. Up here, I use mine for launchers, adding launchers and things. So I have a basic menu on the bottom, and this is kind of what my top panel looks like, but it's mostly hidden. So you can do things like that with your panels. Um, our sizes, you can just make your adjustments on your size, depending on what you want. And then you can determine if it's on the top, bottom, left, or right. Background, you can use a solid color. So if you want to do something like um, something slightly different or there is uh, theme coloring as well and then of course you can add some degree of transparency to your top panels as well and you can control your two panels independently of each other you can do an image if you want to do like some you know some trendy bubbly or whatever image you could actually do it on that so that's actually how you make your adjustments on the panels so we've kind of looked at uh, how to adjust the panels adjusting the backgrounds uh, walking through all of the different settings how to add things to the uh, to the desktops and uh, and looking at some of the the icons as far as everything else is concerned um, pretty much everything else is going to be dependent exclusively on your individual distribution so hopefully this gets you started on your panel inside of Mate. now how do you close this guy out uh, well over here we have our shutdown if we are using this type of panel let's go ahead and add that other panel back to this menu here. Let's just go ahead and have a look at what that one looks like. So again, that was the, um, I think it was the Mate advanced menu. So we're going to add that. Again, we're going to unlock the two things there. We're going to move this one over here, lock it back up. Now, if you're using this particular one, you have your quit right over here. You have all your places right over here. And then, of course, you can search for an application right here. So that's actually why I really like this menu here. I like this one down here, and this one I don't use quite as much. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think we can drag things up onto the panels. Oop, that opens it in Firefox. Don't drag it onto something else. I think we just have to drag it up to the panel. So let's just go ahead and try that again. Okay, so there we can do that, and then we can move them around. So if we want to lock these guys, we can go ahead and lock them. If we want to move them around, we can just kind of move it wherever we want. So this is one of the flexibilities that we, we can actually move things anywhere we want inside the panels. Easy to drag and drop different panel systems up there. And then here's your basic setup. So hopefully uh, you have fun customizing your Mate. This should apply to nearly any distribution that is running this desktop environment. Um, but uh, there, of course, there will be some adjustments and some changes uh, based on what you're doing. So let me know what your thoughts on this are in the comments down below. Uh, have a look at the links up above or in the description down below if you want to help support the channel and connect on social media if you want to get updates on other things going on the channel. So thanks for coming along and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.